Okay, so today we're going to take a look at search tools. So for instance, if I wanted to find something on Bing, let's say I'm looking for smart board math lessons. I type it in, but I get over 15 million results. And to tell you the truth, I don't have that much time today to go through all this stuff. Uh, let's see what Google's got. 86,000. All right, well, that's much better, but still, I, I don't know. That's a lot of stuff to go through. And on Yahoo, I get a measly, oh, 295,000. All right, so really, there's a lot of stuff out there, but I need to find a way to really pare down my results and find a site that has smart board math lessons, doesn't really deal with science and other things that are extraneous to the topic. So this is where the site that we're going to look at today comes in, and it's called Boolify. A Boolean search is when you search for things with words such as and, not, and or to limit the actual descriptors. So the easiest way to use this site is to actually use the graphic blocks over here, and I'm going to simply click on the question mark and drag it out to the main part. I type in smart board, and I'm going to add the word with the word and, I want smartboard and math and lessons. Well, so far I have 102,000 results, and the results are all tabulated on the bottom over here. All right, well, that's not bad, but I don't want to have any lessons having to do with science. Now I get 34,000, and I want them to be interactive. So now I have, actually the search went up because Interactive probably pulled in more results having to do with math. And I want it to have to deal with algebra. So now my search goes down to 2,280. Now that's much more manageable. In fact, it is so much more manageable than the 295,000 or 15 million sites. And that's actually a good place to start. So if you look at the results that I've gotten here, there's a Smart Showcase School Profile and it talks about smart board interactive whiteboards Mm, that's probably not what I want, but over here in uh, free math resources having to do with algebra, over here I have other math resources dealing with algebra one curriculum, and again over here, most of the results will be much more in tune to what I'm looking for than if I just typed in smartboard math, even if I typed in smartboard math algebra into any of the search engines. The other nice thing about this is you can actually remove the descriptors. So if I wanted to take the word not out, so I don't care about science sites, now it'll give me 20,000 links you can work in reverse. Um, you can save your searches. You simply can, as, I, as you saw a moment ago, I can drag a piece of this search to this little X over here and get rid of it so it actually broadens my search. I can view saved searches. I could choose to start over. I could just go back one step. It's actually a really great tool. The other nice thing about Boolify is if you hit lessons, you have this little part called all sides. If I click on all sides, there's an option to just look for an actual search and that you're going to do a comparison with. So for instance, let's say I look at gun control and I want to choose sides over here. So there's good and bad, there's positive and negative, healthy and unhealthy, or useful and harmful. I'm just going to do good and bad even though that's not necessarily the best way to search for things. You'll find over here that it actually pulls up search results dealing with those issues. Looking for gun good and gun uh, gun control good on the left and gun control bad on the right. It's a nice way to work with uh, a quick search. Let's try that again with dieting. And if I go to dieting and we do healthy and unhealthy, you'll notice that it pulls up exactly um, healthy diets on the left and unhealthy dieting on the right. Nice way for kids to kind of get into issues that way, especially if you're doing some sort of debate. All right, so that's Boolify in a nutshell, a really great search tool. Give it a shot, boolify.org.